Hey everyone, TragicMTG here with something a little different today. I don't always just do Magic the Gathering cards. Sometimes, apparently, I'm into other stuff. Um, this is from Upper Deck, uh, which I actually bought directly from the Upper Deck store online. Uh, Avengers Endgame non-sports cards. Yes, there is such a thing. Um, these are the kind of a premium box. Each one of these costs over 100 bucks. There's only four cards per pack. And there's nine packs per box. We're going to be on the hunt for autographs. That's the big thing with this hobby. Of course, it's not a game. You can't do anything like it with, like you can with Magic and actually play a game with this. It's just for collecting, collectability purposes. Um, to be honest, I'm not really interested in getting in, down the rabbit hole of another hobby completely. But I am kind of curious about this. I'm a big comic book guy. I like the Avengers. I kind of was interested in these. Want to see if I can get lucky and pull some autographs. Um, probably won't be doing this too often, but here we go. I'm just going to get into this and see what we get. So we can get autographs maybe. Parallels apparently are a thing. Sketch cards. Premium inserts. Collect the whole set, right? I'm going to do so now. I've been watching this other channel that opens uh, Magic and some stuff like this. There's a Star Wars hobby box as well I'm kind of interested in. Um, called Titan Cards and Games. A girl named Allie does a bunch of openings. I've been watching her. Pretty fun stuff. So I am just got caught up and thought I might give this a try. Let's see what we got here in this first box. They're tiny boxes for a hundred bucks, right? Let's see. Did they open up? Okay, it's taped. And I'm going to rip this up. Hold on. That's what the knife's for. Here we go. There we go. Nine little packs right there with four cards each. Let's see if we can get anything good out of these. I used to try to, I used to buy upper deck baseball cards way back in the day. So kind of neat to see that they're still around and making some kind of premium stuff. So let's see what we get. Wow, okay, cool. So I haven't actually seen any of these up close. They're like, got like a plastic border to them. And then, of course, as we've seen with not other movie kind of tie-in cards, it's just like a, a scene from the movie. And on the back will be just like a little blurb or whatever. The Guardians of the Galaxy's ship. Fun stuff. So I think that's just a, a regular base set card right there. Captain America and Thor in the final battle. Yeah, and these are so these have these like plastic um, border that's kind of neat this is more of a regular kind of card so Captain Marvel card and then you've got a foil Thor fun stuff so I'm not gonna really go through each and every one of them this slow but I wanted to kind of just open up this first one get a little flavor for the set so I think this is maybe some kind of foil insert the ATF-4 it tells me it's some kind of alternate insert set not totally up to speed with this hobby I, I have an, an interest and so I'm kind of doing this but it's not my main focus as you guys all know I just think it's fun so we got uh, that Tony Stark's hand fun times right cool Hawkeye and Black Widow in the very dramatic scene from the movie Another Captain Marvel. So apparently there must be one Captain Marvel in every pack here. Maybe we'll put her over there. And there's uh, Peter Quill. Star-Lord himself, right? So apparently this is part of the set. Those are like the foil ones out of these boxes. So let's see. It's all about the autographs of these, right? Um, I've seen um, some of these sets where you'll open... Um, kind of a lesser known actor and that's cool but there are ones where you can get some of the really well known actors that have signed the card and they actually go for quite a bit on the old eBay so that's kind of what we're after here Captain Marvel and Marvel I got an Avengers Assemble Ant-Man insert I think is what that is shiny really good card quality thick card stock and little holograms and stuff. Fun stuff. Well, you could do something with them once you have these, other than just 
enjoy their presence as a collectible. That's why I think Magic the Gathering is just so, so much more superior as a collectible because you can actually do something and then the the demand and supply is like baked into it. People always wanting the different cards to try out. There's Thanos' Scarecrow. Paul Rudd as Ant-Man. I'm sure that's what it says right there. Something like that. Always one from Captain Marvel. There's another foily of Black Widow. The Fallen, I think, is actually the... Yeah, Avengers The Fallen. That's the numbering scheme there. ATF3. And a checklist, apparently. Fun times. All right, so I think that there are, in this box, some kind of guaranteed hit, as they say, whether it's a sketch card or an autograph card. So that was kind of the, the whole point with this. There's the two Starks. Captain Marvel punching down Thanos. Some scrolls. And another Fallen of Black Panther. I like the foiling on it. They've definitely, like, I, I feel like, because I've opened some of uh, these movie cards from, like, the 90s, and they're hilarious, but they've definitely improved on, like, their composition of the actual pictures that they choose to put on these cards uh, since then, because we've seen, like, some of those older um, card sets, like, it's really bad, like a picture of a taxi cab flipping over or something like that, you know? There's Thanos and his cohorts. Sam Jackson. Oh, we got this. Look, looks like a sketch card, so I think this might be a bit of a hit. Artist sketch card of Captain America. That's a cool one. I like that. And so I, th I believe the, the idea is that that's an actual. Someone drew that on this card and then signed it. So, congratulations. We re received a hand drawn, one of a kind Marvel art sketch card. Enjoy your original sketch card. Artist was Phil Giuliano. Which I'm not familiar with, but yeah, that's pretty fun. I actually like that a lot. Cool. Just a little sketch, something you might basically run up to a guy at Comic Con and say, hey, draw me a picture for 50 bucks or whatever they charge. And there you go on a card. Another shiny insert card there. Very nice. So I'll, I'll have to check the uh, maybe potential value on something like that later um, from what I've seen online. Things of that nature might go for 20 bucks, maybe 50 who knows? Depends on how popular the artist is or the character, or like just how good the art ended up being. I, I kind of like this one. So, and of course, as a collector, maybe I'll keep it, right? So, that's the whole deal. Got the Hulk. Ant-Man punching something. Ronin. And another one of these shiny, fallen Steve Rogers ones there. Only two packs left in this box. And maybe I'll save the other box for another time. I'm kind of going slow at this. You guys know me. I'm slow. Tragically slow, right? Smart Hulk. Scarlet Witch. And at last... I don't know about. I don't know if I really care for the naming scheme on that. Supreme Intelligence, another insert card, and there's a Doctor Strange. Very cool foil though. All right, one card left or one pack left. Let's see if we get anything exciting out of it. I don't know if this is the kind of thing where there's two hits per box or just one, but apparently that was one of them. The Stark, the Elder, got the Ancient One. And not what it seems, a scroll card. And we've got a, a Gamora Avenge the Fallen. So this one here is another insert set. Not what it seems. It's like there's the base set and then there's multiple insert sets. That you got to collect them all, right? If you're a diehard collector. But for me, the big thing was this sketch card, which is kind of neat. This is kind of the one hit we got out of the box I think so that's yeah, cool I'm happy with that I had fun um, I think I'll do the other one in another video maybe some other time I'll just hang on to it for a while and it is what it is well I hope you guys enjoyed it just for fun right whatever tragic here uh, make sure to like and subscribe check out my other videos let me know if you like 
Avengers cards. I'm sure quite a bit less than my regular magic content, but hey, that's fine. I'm here to do what I am into. Anyway, have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one.